Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video looking at this model here. This is the Freewing Pandora 4-in-1. Uh, mine's blue, of course, you can get it in red as well. A 1.4 meter or 55 inch wingspan. Now the interesting thing with this is this model has a special little trick up its sleeve. Now this isn't a new model by any stretch of the imagination, it's been out for a couple of years. But I saw this on the Motion RC website and thought, oh, I've got to get one of those in to try. Because this plane has the ability to have the wing as we've just seen it in the high wing configuration but by doing a couple of bolts and switching some parts around it will change into a low wing configuration so you can start off with a high wing trainer as you get comfortable that that's okay and everything's working all right and you're getting a bit bored with that kind of very sedate easy to fly fuselage then you can flick it around for something a little bit more sporty Similarly, there's actually two lots of undercarriage in here as well. You can have a standard trike setup where the front wheel is steerable or you can have a tail dragger where there's a little steerable wheel at the back connected up to the rudder and you have some nice big wheels at the front and that's particularly useful if you're going to be flying in longer grass because those little trike wheels don't cope very well if you're not landing on something that's super smooth or maybe a concrete runway. So with those two combinations of two different wing configurations and the two different landing gear setups, you can actually set this model up as one of any four different planes with either the high wing with the trike or the tail dragger or the low wing with the trike landing gear or the tail dragger as well. Now this model doesn't come with any receivers or batteries so you're going to have to have at least a four channel radio. I'd recommend having a six channel because there is the ability to have flaps. They're molded into the wing but there aren't servos in there by default. Uh, and you're also going to need a three cell battery. It recommends a 2200 milliamp hour battery on the Motion RC website and I've got loads of those kicking around. So let me very quickly show you how this model comes and then how you put it together. Word of caution, the box is massive. You could probably fit two other planes from another manufacturer in here. And that's because not only have you got the main wings and the fuselage and the other bits and pieces, you've also got the two plates that the wings attach to, either in the top or the bottom part of the fuselage. And you've also got the two different sets of landing gear as well. Now, one of the things I noticed when I unpacked Wing, this is actually my first model from Free Wing, um, and I'm very, very impressed with how it's compact. There is nice spacing and foam bars between all of the pieces, and all of the servo horns and the control surface horns are already installed, and those ones that are actually in the control surfaces are again also covered by protective foam. So there's not a lot of chance of you getting any box rash when this thing actually comes delivered. So as I'm pulling mine out, the other thing that I'm spotting is some really nice touches. There are nylon hinges on all the control surfaces. Now normally on models like this, I tend to find that they have foam hinges and those foam hinges, you need to work a little bit before you put them together. But these things are actually put together with little cute nylon hinges into that EPO foam construction. So once I've got all the pieces out, then uh, we'll move the box out of the way and we can actually see what we're dealing with. So to put the thing together, you need to decide whether or not you're going to want the high wing or the low wing configuration and what landing gear you want as well. By default, it comes with the front wheel connected for the trike setup for the landing gear. And mine came with the high wing canopy installed. And to remove that, that's very straightforward. Just two bolts at the back of that allow you to lift that up and you can swap it for the other spare canopy that's in the box. And then underneath, if you flip it over, another two screws and you can remove the plate at the bottom of the plane and replace it with the other one, which will hold the wings in place. The wings have some nice reinforcements and those nice chunky hollow carbon rods plug into the supports at the top or bottom, depending on how you're going to put them together. So the build of this model is pretty quick and you do get all the pieces in the box, including a little screwdriver. 
To swap over from the trike landing gear to the tail dragger, which is how I'm going to test fly initially with the high wing setup, you need to remove the cowl from the front. That's done with four screws. Then once you're in there, you can get hold of the four screws that actually hold the front nose landing gear in place. Undo the connecting rod that connects that into the rudder servo for steering and then the whole thing will pull out and it's just a case of putting the cowl back in place. Then the main landing gear just goes into place in these plastic reinforcement parts at the bottom of the model and then the rear tail dragger just pops into place and is held in place with a little grub screw. The reviews of this thing on places like the Motion RC website are very, very good, which is why I've got one of these in. Uh, it's quite an imposing, decently sized model, so it's not something you're going to be able to fly in a small park unless you are constantly uh, banking around trying to keep it in the area that you're in. Uh, I love the quality of the packing and the quality of the parts. The way that those hinges are installed and the way that everything comes is absolutely top drawer. So for my first model from Freewing, this is a pretty impressive initial experience. It is very easy to build. Everything latches together and everything seems to be just a couple of screws and the entire thing starts to come apart. I do love the idea of a plane that will actually support you through the first couple of steps in your flying career. That high wing trainer is going to be very similar to lots of other planes that I've looked at. Things like the Tundra, things like some of the Cubs from Horizon Hobby and other places. They're very relaxed flying, very forgiving and perfect for a newer pilot. And that low wing setup means that once you've got to that point where you're feeling quite comfortable with that high wing setup, you can swap things around to get a slightly more sporty flying experience. It's a nice size and those bright graphics on the wing are going to help with orientation. And the spares availability is fantastic. This is a model that's been around for ages. Loads of people carry the spares and they're not ridiculously expensive too. So if you do break a wing or bend something or snap part the landing gear or damage the cowl at the front of the model, it's only a thin plastic shell, then it's pretty inexpensive to get another one. A couple of things to consider that I spotted as I've been building this thing and getting ready to go out and maiden it. There aren't any underwing decals to help with orientation. A lot of the models from places like Hobby King have had thick black stripes underneath. I actually quite like that. I like the ability to have clear visual representation of which side of the plane I'm looking at. With this one, if I can't see any decals, it's probably going to be the bottom. Aren't any FPV mounts in the box. There aren't any considerations for that. For those of you that don't care about FPV, probably won't care about that. But for me, I like to stick cameras on most things at some point during a model's flying career. Aren't any spare props in the box? It's a bit of a shame because, to be honest, you're probably going to snap one of those with a prop being at the front. If it comes in and leans over, then there's potential for damage. If you're going to order one of these, I'd definitely order a spare prop or two. That's probably the thing that's going to get broke the most. The larger landing gear wheels are that grey foam. Not a huge fan of that. Having the wheels in black or even having the pneumatic wheels uh, would have been a nicer touch. This is a little bit old school now and it'd be nice if they updated them. Last couple of things. Disappointed the flaps are not installed from the factory. It's going to be relatively easy to put those in. Glue in a couple of servos. The control horns and rods and things are kind of in the packs. So that's not a particularly big deal to put them in. Uh, but, but having them there from day one would have been nice for this kind of money. And while we're on the subject of money, this is a £200 plane. So I would probably not, if you're getting into flying, have this as your very first plane. I'd probably have something else that was a little bit cheaper. And then once you've got over the crashing it every time you take it out to fly stage, then potentially move on to this and start with the high wing trainer configuration with the tail dragger and that will give you the ability to progress and then this plane could potentially stay with you through those first couple of months as you get better and better and then be able to support you in that low wing configuration to continue to improve your flying as well. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that haven't seen this before and I'm impressed at how well it's been put together and the fact that you do have this flexibility. I'm looking forward to getting it out to Maiden and hopefully I'll be able to get a video up in the next month or so where I can actually show you what it's like to fly. But from the size and the way it's gone together, I'm not too worried about that. I guess it'll fly like most of the other large Cub style trainers, i.e. very relaxed and very easily. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.